What's up, EHA crew? It's Arcade Adam, back with another video, and I hopefully have a quick tutorial. I don't know why I would say that, and buckle up, it's going to be 60 minutes, but I'm going to stick to it this time. We're going to revisit how to import Steam games into LaunchBox. Let's get to it. Okay, so if you watch my old video, forget everything. If you don't know what I'm talking about, welcome to how to import Steam games into LaunchBox. <laughs> okay, so um, I know I made a video when Shredder's Revenge uh, came out on how to import it because, you know, you want to buy that game, you want to download it from Steam, you want to play with your buddies at six players. It's awesome. Go get it. It's great. .emu did a, did a good job with this one. So anyway... Um, I'm assuming you know how to add it to Steam. If not, let's run through that real quick. You hit the plus menu on LaunchBox. You title it TMNT something or other. Uh, you hit search. It'll find it. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, you get your images. You hit download media. And then you go to launching. And this is where the instructions are going to differ. The launching path was something that caused issues with XArcadeX input exiting and uh, closing XArcadeX input. So we're going to solve all that. Let me show you what I put my Shredder's uh, Revenge back to the way it was. So this is how I told you to set it up in the old video. You've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Shredder's Revenge for a title. We've got metadata. We go into images. We already downloaded all of our good stuff. That's it. Did <laughs> Leo, did you make that one? Because that's pretty good. Anyway, um, in the launching path, uh, after you get all your metadata and images, I told you to browse to a folder or on your desktop where you have the shortcuts for all your Steam games. So you just go to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, grab your shortcut, and put it in there. That will work, sort of. It'll launch the game, XArcadeX input will open, but when you exit the game, XArcadeX input will not close because... It's waiting for you to close the game and XArcadeX input because of the weird Steam shortcuts. Let me show what I'm talking about. It doesn't know what you launched it. So if you hit properties on any shortcuts, it says Steam colon slash slash run game ID and then the ID number of the game. Launchbox don't know what the hell that is. So rightfully, <laughs> it doesn't close XArcadeX input because it doesn't know that it opened or closed. Anyway, here's how you fix that. So this is uh, digging a little deep into the file system. Uh, go to wherever you save your Steam games. I have a whole Steam games drive. Um, if you're just putting them on your C drive, they'll be in C, program files, x86, Steam, and then Steam apps, common, and they'll be in here. For me, because I moved them all to this external drive, just a dedicated Steam drive, I've got Steam library, Steam apps, common like I said and now they're kind of in English so sometimes these games will be you know Scott Bil Pilgrim versus the world totally makes sense but this one is just TMNT doesn't have Shredder's Revenge anything on it so you gotta have to use your intuition to find the game if it's not Turtles go into the game folder now you don't want launcher if there's like a launch game or a launcher or something like that you don't want that you want the actual game executable in this case it's TMNT.exe It'll always be an EXE. The name will change depending on the game. So you open that up, and now your launch box is launching the game directly out of the game folder. So if you save this, and then we play the game, XArcadeX input fires up. We've got our four player input on the control panel. And then when we exit, uh, I'm not even gonna wait. I'm just gonna brutally exit this thing. So just start menu, right click, close. You get the windows, you unplug something, XArcadeX input actually closes, and it will dump you back into LaunchBox, or if you're in Big Box, all that sort of thing. So that's my hot tip. I hope I was under the five-minute mark this time. Let me know if you got any questions. Please hit like, subscribe, all those YouTube things, and let me know down in the comments if that worked for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.